Welcome to Vinita's Math Channel. In this video, we are going to discuss about the NAND and NOR implementation. This will come under the module 1 BCS302 subject code that is Digital Design and Computer Organization. First, we will see the NAND implementation. The NAND and NOR, these two gates are called as universal gates. Why these two gates are called as universal gates? Meaning we can implement all the other gates that is the basic gates NAND or uh, AND sorry the NOT. The basic gates are the basic gates are the NOT AND or these gates can be fabricated or constructed using the NAND gate as well as from the NOR gate. Okay, that's why these two gates that is NAND gate and NOR gate are called as universal gates. In this uh, video, I am going to explain how the any gates or any circuit diagram or any logical expression given is to be implemented using a NAND gate okay first let us consider the basic gates we are having three basic gates NOT gate AND gate and OR gate okay these are the logic circuit diagram for the NOT AND and OR respectively he, this side I have given the equivalent circuit diagram of NOT and and or using an NAND implementation so first let me explain all this if there is a NOT gate you need not to do anything leave as it is NOT gate I'll tell you why in the last step okay so whenever a NOT gate is encountered in a circuit diagram what you have to do you have to leave the NOT gate as it is okay write the NOT gate as it is next AND gate for AND gate this is the symbol uh, we have taken two inputs for that A into B will be the output okay if there is any AND gate what you have to do replace this AND gate with a NAND gate followed by a NOT gate why we have did so see here if I replace this by a NAND, NAND meaning a AND followed by a NOT, right? A AND followed by a NOT is NAND gate. So the expression will become AB whole bar. The output of NAND will be AB whole bar. To remove that bar, what we can do we can take a complement complement it is nothing but it's an not gate so we have put a not gate this leads to a b double bar a b double bar it is nothing but a b complement of a complement is the same variable so whatever the output we got here a b same so for the and gate the nand implementation will be what you have to do put a two bubble that's it how you have to remember you have to put a two bubble that's it if I put a one bubble this AND gate will become NAND gate and for one more bubble it is NOT gate fine AND gate done next OR gate this is the logic diagram or a symbol for the uh, OR gate next here what I have to replace for this OR gate replace that by a NAND gate okay for the inputs we have to put for each inputs we have to put an NOT gate first this is the uh, equivalent circuit diagram using the NAND gate this will be explained by using this expression okay if I consider A and B as the input after the NOT gate whatever the outputs we will get A bar and b bar this will become an input to this NAND gate okay the output of NAND gate will be whatever the inputs are there that multiplication of those two 
and the complete bar of it so a bar and b bar is there so a bar into b bar the whole bar we have to write next if we use the de morgan's theorem by solving a de morgan's theorem by using the de morgan's theorem this expression will be split into a double bar into is there so it will become plus b double bar what does the de morgan's theorem says the complement of the product which will be equal to the sum of its complements okay the sum of its complements i have already explained this de morgan's law in my previous videos you can uh you, you can go through it next a double bar a double bar will become a y the complement of a complement will be equal to a variable so here also a plus b which is nothing but the output of an or gate so whenever we encounter an or gate we have to replace for or gate we have to replace for each input put a not gate then directly replace this or gate by a nand gate that's it okay i guess you have understood next let me discuss the steps what to be followed to uh, implement the any circuit diagram or any expression boolean expression is given that to be into a nand implementation okay for the steps first for a boolean function write the logic diagram whatever the boolean function given you have to write the logic diagram for that next replace the and or gates with its equivalent nand gates meaning in the last slide i showed the equivalent circuit for and gate right this is the equivalent circuit for and gate this is the equivalent circuit for or gate so you have to replace this next in the third step in the third step if any two not gates are there one after the other cancel that okay if there are any two nand gates one after the other okay if there is a not gate okay next if there is a not gate one after the other like this we have to cancel why if i give input 0 here the 0 for uh, the input is 0 here the output will become 1 for 1 the output will become 0 okay so whenever i give a input 0 here also it is coming as 0 so both the not gates will be considered or will converted it into a buffer so whenever we get a two not gates like this in a single line we have to cancel this the meaning of third step you get i guess you people have understood next we have to rewrite the circuit that's it okay now i have taken one example okay here i have taken one example the example is f is equal to ab plus cd okay this is the boolean expression they have given and here we have to do the nand implementation so first step is we have to write the logic diagram as it is so i have written a logic diagram for a b it is and gate a b okay for c d another and gate with the inputs c and d here the inputs are a and b next there is an or operation so i have taken the outputs of a b and the output of c d and i have put an or gate okay so this gives us a a b plus c d expression next step first step was we have to write the boolean for a boolean function we have to write the logic diagram first step is done okay here we have done with the first step we have written a logic diagram next step is replace the and and or gates with its equivalent nand gates see here these are the equivalent nand gates right okay so in the next step what i'll do i'll replace this 
gates each and every gate with its equivalent nand gates for this for this and gate i have to replace it with its equivalent for this not a uh, and gate i have to replace it with nand gate and for this also i have to replace it with its equivalent nand gate okay see here i have written for this for this gate okay for this gate the equivalent representation is this is the same diagram but i have marked here that's it see here this is the first and gate it was the first and gate it was being replaced by a an nand and a not and this is the second and gate it was replaced by a an nand and a not okay next we were having here we were having a or gate right we were having an or gate for or gate the equivalent representation is for each of the inputs we have to replace for each of the input we have to put an or gate then a not gate fine <coughs> so so this is the equivalent representation for an or gate okay for each input we have to put a not gate so i have put a not gate here for each inputs next I have to replace by a nand gate fine okay next step is after rewriting the nand gates with its equivalent after replacing all the gates with its equivalents the third step is if there are any two not gates one after the other we have to cancel it we have all i have already discussed why we have to cancel okay so in the next step i am doing the same see here here one not gate again another not gate is followed okay these two are in series one after the other if i give input 0 here it will become if i if i give 0 here it will become 1 here and if i between 0